This is a very large hungry croc in Costa Rica. Let's be honest, crocs are always hungry, aren't they? Anyway, this is way too close for comfort for anyone with any sanity, and this one is over 80 years old. Can y'all believe that? Just amazing. What it is. Yes. This is about a seven or eight foot alligator. I'm actually about to drift right over. This man saw a huge alligator and he doesn't sound too amused about it. Dude, I don't blame you. So I don't really know what to do. If I put the paddle in the water, I might freak him out. I didn't expect to get so close. Whoa, that's a big alligator. So this happens in India where the streets are flooded, and let's just say, muddy water wasn't the only thing flooding the streets. It's so easy for a croc to snatch one of these people that's uh, walking around because look, it can just hide in the water. I mean, scary for a croc to be this close to home, like literally. So this woman has a pet saltwater crocodile named Salty. <laughs> and you can see for yourself that this lady is a brave woman. The beast actually comes into the house to be fed. What happens when you want the crocodile to get out of the house is my question. This is saltwater crocodile country. You can see how crystal clear this water is. And guess what, guys? We were just about to spear a barramundi right here. And then guess what we saw? That's right. Uh, that's about so this guy is out with his woman and somehow spotted this saltwater croc that would have been so easy to miss because of how it blends in with the water and how still it just sits there like wow i mean it's incredible i could just imagine if these two like went for a swim right there not knowing what's going on he talked about it in this video how sneaky crocs are and he is right crazy stuff i would be out of there water you know whether it be a meter deep a meter and a half um they're there and they're watching um, that there's a massive predator and um, quite easily could kill me. Um. I don't know at what point that this swimmer noticed this huge crocodile following him, but uh, holy moly. Casually going for a swim in a beautiful remote part of Mexico? Well, you should probably watch out for the locals, as this man got the shock of his life when a huge crocodile chased him to shore. Amateur footage has emerged showing a swimmer frantically trying to reach the beach whilst being stalked by a massive crocodile. Panic tourists on the overhanging Boca Pilot Bridge watched in terror as the man made a beeline for dry land. As the crop drew closer, luckily a quick-thinking onlooker threw a large object in the water to stop the snapper in his tracks. This guy is on a trail and thankfully notices a pretty big gator up ahead. At one point the gator kind of whips around and the situation could have been very nasty had he been a little bit closer. Just gonna leave my 
filming my epitaph. <laughs> These two got a bit snap happy whilst photographing crocodiles in Florida. Pete, you're too close to him. The pair were at the Everglades National Park when they decided to disturb the world's largest reptiles. Oh God. Listen to this man freak out when he saw a bunch of gators out in the Everglades in Florida. My brother, I just hope you don't accidentally fall out that boat. Oh God, Pete, your pedal's too close to that one. <laughs> Sorry. You never thought you would see an alligator get chased away by geese. Look at this. Oh my God. Number nine, PJ Nash. <laughs> oh my god. This is in Indonesia where this wild crocodile actually seems to be pretty docile and is awaiting some food by these humans. What do I always tell y'all? When I see a video that I've never seen anything like, I'm gonna show it to you. So this is in Fort Lauderdale at Everglade Holiday Park, where the gators really, really like their back scratched. Bruh, ain't enough money in the world. Hell to the gnaw. This crocodile wants to know who suddenly turned the lights out. This is in India, where this man is unbelievably close to not one, not two, not three, but four huge crocodiles. Like, what would happen if one day this man just kind of slipped on one of the wet rocks? Like, not like fall on the water, but just kind of lose his footing. I mean, he would be some beef jerky, like real quick for these beasts. This croc does not take too lightly to a leopard trying to rob it of its meal. That didn't stop the leopard from trying multiple times, but to no avail. This saltwater crocodile is 16 feet long and just relaxing, but it's amazing how quickly these gigantic beasts can go from relaxed to a full-fledged missile out of the water. Come on, up, big boy! Whoa! Oh. Yeah. 
these gators seem to be very comfortable with people, which is a scary thought. Even scarier that this guy is this comfortable with the alligators. It seems like a disaster waiting to happen, doesn't it? This man who is dressed up like Superman is taunting crocodiles for no apparent reason. An alligator handler almost involuntarily retires from his job in the blink of an eye. So a lot of the times you can... Oh, oh, no. See? See what I'm talking about? She's training this animal to take me out. Like, I'm gonna walk... So a lot of the times you can... Oh, oh, no. See? See what I'm talking about? We are here and found a crocodile. Right there. Check it out. Welcome to South Florida, where in these waters, there are both crocs and gators. Yikes. I don't want to put my hand in the water. He's right there. Guys, you see him? I hope you do. I try to get the angles up. He knows that we are looking at him. I don't want to fall. Don't come closer, baby. See you later, crocodile. Oh, he's moving. Uh-oh. He's moving. You saw that? He loves vibration. Back up, back up, back up. Dude, you better back up, Elijah. I don't understand humans like being this close and taunting a gator offers zero upside and all downside better watch out boy <laughs> you gotta watch out because there's other gators in here and they might pop up it'll crawl oh, up right here good video look Dude, he's right there next to that freaking alligator. <laughs> Literally three feet away from it. Going down. Oh, Welcome to Florida, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Kayaking with alligators sounds fun to some people. Uh, not to me. Especially gators this big. Ele ataca a senhora, isso daí não? Não, Maria. E galera, vem pra cá. passa a mão nele, Pantanal, Dona Maria. E do Rodrigo, simples assim. This is in Brazil, where again, people feel the need to taunt alligators. Had this woman not turned around in time, she could have very easily been a snack for the gator. People gonna learn one of these days. Se nós não vamos. In an effort to show you what beautiful and perfectly designed creatures they are, I attempted to handle one. At first, the mother doesn't stir during the circus on the embankment. A man is trying to get some baby alligators to show them off. Like, with mommy gator close by. Uh, not a good idea. That says everything. Did you hear? 
Did you hear that little noise that you made? That get the fuck out of here. We gotta get out of here, man. <laughs> what a family thought was a turtle <laughs> turned out to be a much larger and much more dangerous animal. Look, mom, there's a monster on the front lawn. Two little kids stare in wonder as a giant alligator ambles past the window. He looks positively prehistoric. The gator is still on the loose, wandering the neighborhood. Oh my goodness, he's going up to that house. The kids were playing outside when Mom Sonia first spotted the gator, hiding in the bushes. They thought he was a turtle. As the gator moved on, Mom hit the record button on her cell phone. Whoa! Get back in the house. The man is kayaking, and I think he thought he had a fish at the end of the line. Um, sir, that ain't no fish. Oh my god! That's a big ass gator, buddy! That is a big gator. <laughs> a man in Australia nearly gets devoured by a hungry crocodile and I can't believe he got out of there alive. push him away with my paddle it's pretty disturbing actually how comfy these alligators are around humans like sometimes you see these videos and then sometimes you see these videos and it looks like the gators are like walking up to you like a dog will walk up to you to get petted but of course the gator doesn't want to be petted you know <laughs> to say the least so some of you might think this gator is peaceful but like this isn't good the lady's trying to keep the gator away from her like kayak with the paddle board and I must say she's doing a pretty good job at that. <laughs> a tour guide is getting pretty close at one point in this video to some huge saltwater crocodiles. Later in the video, he's back on the boat and is continuing to hand feed the crocs. What happened next is something that shocked the entire boat. Here's an encounter between a croc and a jaguar. So the jaguar is down at the bank here lapping up some dirty H2O. And I think it would be naive for me to say that the jag didn't know a croc was in there. Like, of course it knew. I mean, the only question is, like, where is the croc in the water? A boat with some tourists is floating along when it comes across a large gator. What happened next will shock you. You can see the enormous gator jump onto the boat and luckily for the tourists, had no interest in eating them. 
It's heavy, whatever it is. Ah, uh, that is not a stick. Oh my God, that's not a stick at all. This fisherman made the Captain Obvious declaration that this crocodile is not a stick. Just imagine if this fisherman had went for a swim in this lake. This takes place by the river where a croc is there feeding on a deceased hippo. A lion arrives because, I mean, after all, that's a lot of meat. Can't let it go to waste. I don't think the lion initially understands the croc is there, but he almost finds out the hard way. Mr. Gator? Hey, welcome, on, Mr. Gator. Can you please, no, uh, wait, stop. Hold on, Mr. Gator, hold on, man, hold on, bro. Listen, wait, 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 bro. Hold on, stop, just stop, bro. Oh, shit, come on, bro. Oh. Look, I think whoever filmed this video thought they had a docile gator on their hands. Saying they were wrong is an understatement. Dogs have a serious attitude, and one of them very nearly gets a toothy attitude injustice. Two men are out fishing and everything seems to be just fine, but something very unexpected happens. A crocodile steals the fish and eats it right in front of them. The croc is like, uh, yeah, and what you gonna do about it? Hopefully the men took a hint and got the heck out of there. Run back, bro. Run back. Oh, run, bro. Run, 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 run. Run, Daniel, run. Run. Run, Daniel. Run. Run, bro! Oh, no, he's got it! Pressure on! Keep... No! No, it's so big! It's so big, he's swallowing it! Oh, the whole thing! Oh, the whole thing's gone down his gob! <laughs> oh, I don't... Oh. Now, me and Sean were uh, cleaning the, the lagoon between five and four and all that. So this guy's out fishing and caught a nice one. But the gator was like, uh, bruh, no. You ain't gonna take that from me. And guess what? The gator stood by that and literally came up on the land to seal the deal. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Trying to get some work done. Hey. Anyway. Get out. Away. Oh, away. Stay. This guy's an animal handler and he is insane. Look at how he is handling this large saltwater croc, even at certain points turning his back to the ferocious predator. Let me tell you something, there is no point in which I would get this comfortable with such an animal. I don't care if I raised it from a hatchling. This croc is obviously familiar with him but uh, still bruh, this is admirable but I, I just couldn't do it. This is in Australia where some humans thought it would be fun to mock an enormous crocodile. Why do this to the crocodile? I mean, if you're going to have fun at the crocodile's expense, the least you could do is at least give the meat to the crocodile at the end of the stick. 
A kayaker is floating along and evidently shocks an alligator who did not want to stick around for a photo shoot. Now they have black spots around their snout. These black spots are more like sensors. So basically anything touches their snout causes the alligator to open up even wider. The trigger on the alligator. Here's another guy way too close for comfort and too comfortable with the dangerous crocodile. Well, actually this is an alligator and not a croc, but you get my point. Look, I felt like this would be a good one to include even though it's not a croc because it still is the same premise. I mean, much like the croc, I would be nowhere close to this thing as he is, but props to him. Dude started to spit out some stats on this beast and he looks completely trusting of this scary animal. A man is out kayaking and very nearly becomes a human pot pie for a hungry, angry gator. seconds. You better slow down a bit, yeah? So this is in South Africa where some guys are kayaking and I think they thought that they were alone. But boy oh boy were they wrong. Don't go too fast, because I'm the only one paddling. I'm the one recording our online death. <laughs> Can you imagine being in your kayak and coming upon an alligator that was not expecting to see you? All I would be thinking about is uh, that there are likely more gators around that I can't even see. Yeah, we don't want everyone going to one side. We need a bit of common sense. This is in Australia where these tourists want to obviously see a croc up close. Like, listen here. I know that technically these people are safe, but I just know I would probably be the crazy one who does something crazy and stupid and accidentally puts my arm out like too far trying to shoo a fly away from my face and then chomp become dinner for a hungry croc. It was a wildlife encounter they won't soon Ooh. forget. Two women literally coming face to face with an alligator in Lake Forest. Yeah, that's after they say the gator tossed them into the water while they were kayaking Saturday afternoon. Check out this story from Daphne, Alabama, where a kayaker was flipped into the water and then some more craziness happened. Check it out. Hey, Byron, this is the area they were kayaking and fell into the water. I'm going to move out of the way so that you can take a look here. Out on Lake Forest, they say they thought they were going to die. That's how scary this was for them. The women say they were in two separate kayaks when one of them noticed what looked like a tree stump. All of a sudden, she says her canoe flipped and she was in the water. Her friend pulling her onto her kayak when both of them were knocked back into the murky water. As they attempted to swim back to land, that's when the gator emerged. All they could see was its head and its eyes, but from that alone, they say they could tell it was a large creature and they were in danger. His name is Hal and he also calls himself 
the Halligator. Oh, nice. Wow. <laughs> He's been interacting with the giant gators for about six months, filming it all and even offering tourists a chance to get up close too. The Gator Whisperer? So this man named Hal is a former chiropractor who FaceTimed in the slammer for getting too close and personal with these dangerous beasts. Like, I'm talking about fed time he was facing. So this was a big deal. It's just crazy to me a person would risk their life to get this close. Like, dude, all it takes is one bad day and you are going to be a roast beef sandwich for one of these animals. I don't charge anybody to touch an alligator. To this day, I never took a penny from anybody. Kreitman has pleaded not guilty to charges of enticing and illegally capturing an alligator telling ABC News his Everglades reptile excursions are strictly free of charge. What is wrong with bringing people out to get the best shots that they're ever going to get? I think that's called a safari. Wildlife experts say what he was doing wasn't just illegal, but extremely dangerous for everyone. The tragedy here is that not only is a person going to get hurt, but then the animal's going